It's a beautiful day here in Santa Fe, New Mexico. I'm at La Posada de Santa Fe, the hotel, which is also beautiful. And I have a massage this morning, a massage scheduled. And if you know me, if you've been following this channel for a while, you know I hate massages. I, j I just don't have the pain tolerance for them, but it's part of the job. And uh, yeah, let's go let somebody touch me. You excited for your massage? I'm getting a facial. I'm getting a high desert facial. <laughs> I didn't know facials were an option. I'm gonna be like <laughs> sitting here in pain as I get beaten by a woman who's probably 50 pounds, but um... <sighs> So apparently I'm doing a scrub. They're gonna put oils all over me, scrub me down, and then a massage, and then a steam wrap. And I can't really film all of it, but it sounds like it's gonna be cool, and they read that I wrote I'm a baby on my info sheet, so I think they'll take it easy on me. So as far as massages go, that's as good as it gets. I've been calmed to another level. <laughs> it's funny too, it started out kind of scary because the first bit was like this scrub where they scrubbed you down with, I don't know what it was, like it felt like sand. And it was like being just like grated with sandpaper. It was rough. Um, but yeah, the, I think writing down that I was a baby on the, on the sheet really helped because she was gentle. And um, yeah, it was really relaxing. And now I have the skin of an angel. And uh, yeah, we're off on an excursion today, heading towards Taos. So we made it to Taos, and this is a Marriott moment. And what that means is when you stay at Marriott slots, you can build rewards points, kind of like flight points, you know, like air miles. And with those points, you can book these moments. They're like excursions. If you stay at Marriott's enough, you can get the excursions. Or if you just want to pay for the excursion, you get points for booking them. So we're doing one of those today. And uh, yeah, it's a tour of Taos. I've never been here before. I have no idea what to expect. But what I do need is I need to make a photo here. And I know it's gonna be a challenge because it's middle of the day, blue skies, but um, I think that'll be the fun of it. So that's what this episode's about from now on, trying to make a photo. Bluebird day in Taos, New Mexico. We're at Rancho de Taos and this, uh, this building apparently was photographed by Ansel Adams years ago. So uh, you'd think that it would be a black and white photo coming up, but I think the blue really contrasts um, the, the mud of the building. Um, when you're shooting in the middle of the day, I think it's really important to just find details and uh, maybe avoid this big hero image, especially when there's people walking around to be in your frame. So I think, yeah, I guess that's what I'm gonna look for. I'll show you around a little bit, grab a couple stills. Really, really beautiful building, and I actually think shooting in the middle of the day here might be the right time of day to shoot just because you get this really nice contrast between the blue sky and the adobe. I think it looks better than it does at sunset, which is rare. I also think that shooting in the middle of the day might be a good thing for me. It kind of forces me to really think about the composition rather than just relying on the beauty of light or camera tricks. So I think this is probably a good uh, test for me. This is one of those practices that I think you could use to try to push to the next level. Shooting in lights that you don't normally shoot and just trying different things. So yeah, I think this is working out fine.
We've arrived at this pueblo and it's it's impressive. It's really cool in here. The mountains in the background, the buildings in the foreground, and we have like 10 minutes until we're doing a local tour, but I'm trying to film maybe, not a documentary, but like a little bit of a another video for later, trying to shoot portraits of people. And I felt like Route 66 is the perfect way to do this. Somebody described it the other day as the main street of America. And really what it is, is it's this perfect cross section of America and you get all these different cultures, different types of people, different landscapes. I mean, we've gone from in Missouri to Chicago to St. Louis to here, to here. It's just such a, yeah, so diverse. So I'd love to get a photo of a person here, but I just heard from somebody that, the, that they're, they're not super open to it. So we're gonna try, but that's my goal for this village anyway. Try to get a portrait. And uh, I'm trying to do like environmental portraits, not like headshots or anything like that. I want them in their workspace, in the environment. So that's the goal. What was your name? Sorry. Uh, Autumn Deer. Autumn, uh, Autumn Deer? Uh -huh. I'm Brendan. So this, uh, this is Buffalo Hide. That's Buffalo Hide. And there's some other ones up there. Fantastic! Yeah. Wow, that was so good. Thank you so much. Thank you. Wow. Thank you so much. Hello to Canada. I'll say hi to Canada for okay. you, yeah. <laughs> Take care. Yeah. That was so good. That's what travel's all about. That's almost emotional how good that was. He just went in there, started chatting. He started talking about how he was shooting for, or he was in photos with a photographer once. I asked him if I could photograph him, if that was okay. He said, sure, let me play the drums. And, and then it was just like the whole drum and experience. That was, yeah. Yeah, that was good, that was so good. So massive thanks to Autumn Deer, AKA Jerry. We're supposed to do a tour, like we got here, and actually the tour's over there, Matt's over with the tour, but I got so caught up in that that I'm not gonna do the tour, I'm just gonna keep walking around. And uh, this is amazing, this place is amazing, that experience was amazing, but look at this building over here. This place is just unbelievable. the perfect place to change a lens. This place is unreal, really cool, and I'm kind of just running around taking snapshots like a tourist because it's just so interesting to me. And I'm kind of just left shaking my head as to why people don't know about this place. And obviously there's tourists here, people know about this place, but it's quiet. Definitely not foreign tourists. Definitely, it's it's almost strange how beautiful and incredible this place is, yet hardly anybody here. That was uh, fantastic, absolutely awesome. And I think it's time to jump back into the tour van. I'm not sure where the next stop is, but I think we're gonna go see the gorge of the Rio Grande. I think this is our last stop of the day. We're at the Rio Grande Gorge and it is impressive. The type of place I'd love to come and photograph. It's a little bit too far for us to whip over here for sunset. It's about an hour and a half from Santa Fe, but these clouds are just impressive right now. So um, I don't know if I'm gonna take a picture or just enjoy it, but 
this spot is definitely, definitely worth a photo. It's crazy, crazy windy up here actually. There's no wind just on the other side of the bridge right here. It's so windy. Um, something interesting I saw on this bridge or something maybe sad but also interesting and also helpful is they actually have a crisis hotline on the bridge at all these marking points there's a little phone you can call in case um, you're like a jumper I guess or a potential jumper you just need somebody to talk to I think that's fantastic to see I'm also sad that it's necessary but yeah I, I'm glad that they've done that here I think that's a really really smart thing anyways um, I think it's time to cruise back to to, 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 where are we going? We're back to Santa, Santa Fe. So this was an awesome Marriott's moment reward here in, uh, in New Mexico. And I don't understand why more people don't come to Taos. This was phenomenal, absolutely fantastic. <laughs> As I almost get knocked off the bridge. Okay, home sweet home here at La Paz Posada de Santa Fe. It turns out that this is a haunted hotel. And I'm not just saying that because I ran into a ghost, but we just talked with like a PR person and there's one room, one of the original owners of this place, and it, there's all sorts of ghost stories. So now I'm a little bit nervous, but it's such a nice hotel that uh, if there's a ghost hanging out with me, I'm okay with it. Um, Taos was awesome today. I have to say that I struggle with this channel sometimes because I know there's so many of you that follow this channel that are photography people, that you're used to seeing photography channels of people that are taking one photo an episode. And sometimes they're only taking one photo a week or two photos a week. Whereas with this channel, I kind of feel a lot of pressure every day to produce. Yeah, it's, it's a lot of work and it's a lot of shooting. And I think I've been feeling that pressure lately more than I thought I was. And today it was just like so good to just go out and feel like a traveler. Because I'm a photographer, but above everything I'm a traveler. Somebody asked me once on a Q&A, if you had to give up travel or photography, what would you give up? And I think that I would probably give up photography before travel because travel's my passion. That's what I love doing, I love seeing. And actually I started as a photographer just so I could travel. And that's, I know, I love photography and that's never gonna change, but uh, yeah, I, th I think that's something important that you guys need to know, especially those of you who are kind of new to this channel. This isn't a photography channel, it's a travel photography channel, and it's kind of a, a behind the scenes look into what it's like to be a travel photographer. So today was fantastic the best day I've had so far on Route 66, and all days on Route 66 have been fun. So um, yeah, amazing time. And tomorrow we're back on the route. We've got a short drive, but we're heading to Albuquerque, and I'll see you guys there. Peace.